stood up to a lot of criticism, bless her. And the Margaret Morris movement is seeing to it that the woman of tomorrow will have earned all the compliments. Miss Morris herself has discovered fields and postures new in physical development. Just now, she's demonstrating the correct posture and indicating how the diaphragm should be contracted and expanded with proper breathing. The Margaret Morris walk, as we might call it, showing the right method of using the heel. A posture dance illustrating how the breathing is in tune with the raising of the arms and shoulders, the fusion of relaxation and rhythm. An exercise in, uh, no, not swing, but spring, imparting an easy, graceful movement and avoiding strain on the knees, ankles and feet. The windmill, as it's called, which brings into play all the joints and muscles and builds up a wide, free range of movement, suppleness in the making. A class demonstrating the various positions for correct breathing grouped informally so as to make the exercise as interesting as the grouping itself is picturesque. That is the basis of the whole training. Poise and freedom of movement are its watchwords. The same freedom.